resolution? It is the last thing I wanted to speak about. <laughs> but no, on the SAIL resolution, we are working on it, as you know. Uh, I said what I had to say yesterday, so it's very important for us. It's, a, uh, it's actually a priority. There is a draft resolution that uh, we, will, uh, we have circulated and that we hope to adopt uh, the sooner the better. Uh, maybe just a word because I have to run for, Libya. For, for Libya. So number one, we are worried, needless to say, about the situation on the ground and worried more, worried more specifically about the military escalation in Libya, the worsening situation in the country. You had the event in the southern part of the country, in the south of Libya, the fighting in Seba, Jufra, Tripoli. All this is very worrying. And of course, we have called for calm and support to dialogue, number one. Number two, against this backdrop, uh, we consider that it's more important than ever for the Council to remind everybody, every player, that there is no military solution in Libya. And obviously, some players continue to believe there might be a military solution, and they need to be convinced that it's not the case. So we need to send, as the Council, a clear message, as the Security Council, to all parties in Libya in this sense. It's more urgent than ever to move forward for the same reason, on the political process and to support Prime Minister Sahar's efforts to implement the Libyan political agreement. In other words, we make a link between the worrying situation on the ground and the need for the Security Council to be even more vocal, united, mobilized to promote a political uh, process. Number three, uh, there are efforts in this regard that we appreciate, notably from regional players to support the political process. This is a positive trend. It needs to be encouraged. It needs to continue. So my message here is about mobilization and acceleration. We need to accelerate on this, give a new momentum to the political process. For that, we think that the UN has a key role to play. Uh, in terms of coordination of the ongoing efforts of both regional and international players that we want to promote. And that's along these lines that we want to move ahead, and we think there's, there can be an opportunity to move ahead. Mr. Mr. Gaynor's uh, uh, strategic yes. review on Libya, when is it due, and, and, and are things on hold until it's due, or what's your understanding of what the purpose of the, of the exercise? So Jean-Marie uh, went you know, in Libya, in the neighboring countries. He, I know him personally, he's a very hardworking uh, professional. So I'm sure he will come back. He has come back already with uh, very important proposals. When exactly he will present his report, that I don't know, you should ask him. But this is something very important that we are waiting for, indeed. Ambassador, you, you mentioned the concerns about Libya. Are the Egyptian airstrikes that happened in Libya part of your concerns? They targeted um, fighters that were allied with the UN-backed government there? My, my comment was mostly on the, on the situation in Libya itself and the deteriorating situation in Libya. What you mentioned is really something else that would request further comments. Thank you. <laughs>